everybody and welcome to our interview series. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Aditya Birla Sun Life Nifty 200 Momentum 30 ETF. This NFO opened up on 29th of July and it's going to be closing on 10th of August. So without further ado, let me introduce today's guest, Abhishek Singhal, Business Head, Passive and Alternative Strategy at Aditya Birla Sun Life AMC Limited. Hi Abhishek and uh, welcome to the series. Hi, good morning everyone. Thank you so much for the welcome, Master. Thanks a lot, Abhishek. Now, uh, first question here, can you quickly help us with some details about the NFO? So as you already know, uh, passive funds these days have taken the world by storm and uh, more and more investors are looking at low cost investment solutions. ETFs that way uh, happen to be one of the best vehicles to actually participate in the market, get in, get out anytime, very, very liquid. And one of the strategies that we have converted into an ETF is the momentum factor as a strategy. There is already an index which exists, which NSE had created. It's called the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 Index. And we are just replicating that particular index in this particular fund, which will be launched as an ETF, which will trade on the exchange. The NFO is open as of now, and it's going to be closing on the 10th of August. All right. Okay. Now, Abhishek, uh, since your latest fund offering is linked to factor investing, can you start by explaining this investment strategy? Sure. So, you know, think of factors uh, like creating a portfolio, just like you would have created a team in cricket. Um, typically, you want to get some of the most aggressive batsmen in the opening. You want to get some of the really, really high quality batsmen in the middle. And then you want to have some of the best bowlers uh, at the end. Now, when you think of aggression, you're essentially thinking of higher market participation if you were to replicate that strategy in your portfolio. So in some way, you're trying to identify what is the commonality or a common trait of all these stocks. At some point in time, when the market is in momentum, teji as we call it, at that point in time, the companies which are running up the fastest are the ones which we call momentum. There are companies which are considered high quality. Why are they high quality? We'll talk about it in a little while. But then this happens to be your middle order. Sometimes when your you know, first two, three wickets go out very, very cheap, you want somebody to just stand there, hold the phone. That's quality for you. And that's exactly what you try to identify in companies also. And then at some point in time, you also need all-rounders in the portfolio. Some companies which will play under all market conditions, whether the market is in Teji, whether the market is in Mandi, whether the economy is in recession, whether the economy is in boom, you need some all weather investment ideas. So all in all, what we are trying to do with factor investing and especially with momentum is try to identify companies which are highest in momentum or in other words, very, very simple words, companies which are trending at this point in time. Okay, got it. Now, can you tell us uh, um, how the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 Index is stacked up in terms of sectors and in terms of market capitalization? So I should point out, Asa, that uh, you know the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 Index is not a sectoral idea. It's a diversified idea. At any point in time, it will have 30 companies coming from uh, different sectors. Depending on which sector is in, is in uh, boom at that point in time, it will have the top allocations to companies from that particular sector. As we speak right now, and in the last maybe about six months, you've seen that companies from power, companies from oil and gas, companies basically from energy space have been in momentum. Predictably, at this point in time, the highest allocation is to sectors like power, oil and gas, and capital goods. Combined, the three sectors currently have about 40% of the entire portfolio. Some of the top companies, if I have to talk about, the top company in the in the index at this point in time is Adani Enterprises. It's at about 5.3%. Uh, Titan, which is at about 5.2%. And Sun Pharma, which is at about 5.1%. Got it. And uh, what kind of investors is this fund best suited for? Uh, very interesting question, Asa. Thank you so much for asking this. Uh, you know, the indexes are designed in a manner that anybody can come and participate. Anybody who has a three-year view on markets should definitely participate. We did a quick analysis on what is the probability of outperformance or positive performance of this index over a three-year rolling period. 
and we found that over the last 16 17 years of in uh, of since inception for this index uh, this fund or this index would have generated at least 80% times positive returns and even outperformance now given that background anybody who has a 3 year view on equities should definitely participate in this fund anybody who is an experienced investor who can understand when will momentum play out as the best performing common trade uh when the markets are in momentum when the markets are in teji for instance uh those investors should definitely participate in factor series got it uh now my next question to you here is that how has nifty 200 momentum 30 performed over the last 5 years since that we're talking about performance and was it able to beat the benchmark indices like nifty 50 and sensex um uh, yes over the last uh, maybe about 17 years of uh the index as inception it has uh, massively massively outperformed the headline index which is nifty 50 but if you have to talk about the last 5 years alone nifty 50 has generated about 12.6% return this is as of end of july that we are talking about and this index would have generated about 14 and a half percent at the same time so it's basically outperformed by about 2% there got it and is this nfo suitable for investing through the sip route or lump sum uh since it is an etf you need to look at whether your brokerage account uh allows you to buy every month so sip is basically a facility where you can buy every month right so here again through your brokerage account you can uh, just like you would have bought stocks every month if there is an sip facility for stocks you can just simply buy the etf also through sip every month got it understood one final question abhishek before we close uh, can you kind of list out the risk related to investing in this particular nfo sure so uh, given the fact that uh, this this uh, index or this etf will have exposure from large cap companies primarily and some bit of mid caps for higher growth uh, there can be times when volatility is higher in this particular index in fact you should expect some bit of volatility especially in choppy markets uh, that's the one major risk that this index runs but then that risk is common with all sorts of equity investments uh, the second a small risk could be that there could be some bit of liquidity up and down at some, certain points in time to mitigate this risk we have ensured that there is market making support available at all points in time and we will be able to provide you liquidity at all points in time got it all right uh, abhishek thank you so much for joining in it was an absolute pleasure to have you we do wish you all the very best thanks a lot thank you asa so much